All right, shalom. First and foremost, of all praise, honor, and glory to the Heavenly Father and His only begotten Son, Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, Bahashim, Rakhakwadash. The Lord and the Apostle is a great millstone teaching us the warm and truth according to Bible rule well. And peace and blessings still flow to the nation of Israel. Take their spirit and power of Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shai. Bring it to the Lord's willing to find lesson, you know, on you know scripture that I saw you know my way uh towards the end of my day on a license plate it was this jeremiah you know 29 and 11 you know on a license place of jer j-e-r 29 and it had the roman numerals for 11 you know and you know we all deal with things in our day-to-day -day life right and we gotta understand that Yah by Shemalashai, he is a hard teacher, right? And the Lord, you know, is instilling discipline inside of us. He's lighting the fire, you know, in our asses to, you know, continue to trust in him, right? He, things get hot, you know, at a certain point in this walk, and we have to remain steadfast in the truth, knowing that Yah by Shemalashai is in control of everything right and we understand these things but what as you know it's easy in the beginning you know i'm gonna read the scripture jeremiah 29 and 11 for i know the thoughts that i think towards you saith the lord thoughts of peace and not of evil to give you an expected end and we as the believers of yah by shema shall we know this we understand this right and everything's easier at the beginning you know beginnings are often easier you know than you know the journey right as you uh, as we uh, are walking this straight right and narrow path right as it tells us here at uh, Matthew 7 and 13 enter ye in at the straight gate so we're entering in at the straight gate which is a path a difficulty you know in the beginning when you first come into this truth it's easy you know seem like you're on autopilot you know you, you deal you know with you know overcoming your, your your mishaps you you know you deal with trying to find a rhythm you know what your purpose is you know but then you know wisdom begins to try you you know and y'all by Shema Hashai, he's seeing if you're gonna apply and the fruits of the spirit, see if you're going to be, you know, a stoic, you know, if you're going to do the right thing, you know, and not, you know, what everyone else is doing, taking the easy way out, trusting in him. You see, it says, enter ye in at the straight gate, for wide is the gate, and broad is the way that leadeth to destruction. So broad is the way. Which leadeth to destruction. That's what a majority of our people are on. But, but, it says, it says, and there many there be that go in thereat, because straight is the gate and narrow is the way which leadeth unto life, and few there be that find it, right? So we gotta understand, Yah Bashim al Shai, he's not going to let, you know, our enemies get the, the victory, right? We got to understand that even though we're on this path, you know, we're catching hell, you know, the Lord is going to give us, you know, that expected end, that end, you know, that we hope for, the end that we're looking for. His thoughts towards us are thoughts of peace, right? You know, I believe it's here in Luke, you know, let me just type it in, you know, this is uh, St. Luke. Uh, 12 and 31 but rather seek ye the kingdom of the most high and all these things shall be added on to you yeah the things that you're dealing with you know your daily necessities right Yah by Shema Shai is going to freely give these things on to you we just have to walk by our faith we must live by our faith people coming at people coming up against you at the job you know uh, uh, doing all types of manner of evil and wickedness against you, we have to apply the scriptures, 
you know, knowing that Yah by Shema Shai is in control of everything. And these people who devise evil against you, right? Yah by Shema Shai is going to put a stop to those things, you know, in due season. We just must bear our cross. This is a Psalms 33 and 10. The Lord bringeth the counsel of the heathen to naught. All right, the counsel of the heathen, these other nations, you know, these people, you know, your enemies that might rise up against you. The Lord is going to bring that to naught. You see, they be the de they devise evil and wickedness against you on the job, you know. And here it is, Esau, Edom. You know, he's getting ready to roll on the American people. And, and, and what is he about to do to make war with the remnant of the Heavenly Father's seed? So these things, these little things we go through on the day to day of de on the day to day are tests, you know, to prepare our minds uh, for something greater, for prepare our minds for you know, for the for the real adversity. And, and we must understand that the Lord Yahweh Shema Shai bringeth the counsel of the heathen to naught. He maketh the devices of the people of none effect. Their devices, you know, their their plans aren't going to come into full effect. This MWO is going to fail, right? So we know and understand this. So we must know that Yah Bashim al you know, we must have the, the hope and believe that the Lord did not bring us in to this knowledge to receive a destruction, you know? We are brought into this knowledge to receive uh, mercy, right? As long as we would endure unto the end, right? We've been given something great. Let's 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 show care for what we've been given, right? As we've been given this, you know, this knowledge, this wisdom, an opportunity to to be a judge and you know uh, a ruler in the kingdom of heaven. Right, let's learn to rule over our spirits. Let's learn to rule over our flesh, over our minds, overcome. Let's learn to tap into the power that Yahweh Shema Shai has given us. You know, right now, let's let's just use the power, you know, that the Lord has given us. The power of prayer, you know, the power of fasting, right? The power of, of trusting in the Lord, the power of applying the scriptures, you know, being slow to anger, right? This is uh, St. Luke 12 and 32. Fear not, little flock, right? So we don't have anything to fear. We don't have anything to worry about. And we're a little flock. We're a small sanctuary. It says, for it is your father's good pleasure to give you the kingdom, right? So it's the heavenly father's good pleasure to give his men, the, the 144, right? And, and the great multitude of the Israelites, which should be scattered from the four corners of earth, believing and trusting in the names of Yahweh by Shema Shai. It's the Heavenly Father's will to give us, you know, start, you know, starting with the elect nation of Israel, the kingdom of heaven, right? So that's what's coming in these last days. The kingdom of heaven is about to be established. The kingdom of heaven is about to be set up down here upon the earth, right? And if we don't go through this street, uh, you know, how, how then shall shall we see the broad, right? It says, Fear not, little flock, for it is your father's good pleasure to give you the kingdom. So we don't, we shouldn't, you know, be worrying, right? We shouldn't be, you know, in fear. We shouldn't be doubting, or we should know that y'all by Shema Shai is with us you know and he's going to deliver us you know what did uh you know it's like what did uh yahweh shai say here in matthews and, um, and we'll close out this is a uh, matthews 28 and 19 you know this is the whole reason why we're on this earth in these last days this is our whole purpose go ye therefore and teach all nations right and this is be this will be done in these times, we would teach all nations because Israel Israel would be scattered to the four winds of heaven, right? So we were sent down, you know, from the heavens, just as our Lord Yahweh Shai was sent down from the heavens with a mission, right? To preach the word, to be instant, in season, out of season, to reprove, rebuke, exhort with all long suffering 
and doctrine, you know, and to make our bodies a living sacrifice while we were given this grace period down here upon the earth, right? To be not conformed with the image of this world, but be ye transformed by the renewings of our minds, being perfect, you know, which that is a mindset, right? It says, it says, baptizing them, right, the Israelites, in the name of the Father, Yahweh, and the Son, Bahashem, right? Uh, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rakar Kodash, right? Teaching them to observe, right? Teaching them to observe all things whatsoever I have commanded you, and lo, I am with you always, even unto the ends of the world. Amen. So the Yahweh Shai is with us today. You know, Yahweh Shai sees everything that's going on. He's guiding us. He's leading us. You know, he's leading us to the kingdom. He's leading us back to the promised land. He's leading us, you know, to immortality. So we must trust Yahweh Shai, Shai, trust the process, trust the Lord, continue to endure, continue to fight, continue to pray. You know, as uh, we are almost out of here with that, I'm going to say Shalom.